everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We are playing through Famicom Detective Club Part 2. This is St. Stephen. I'm your dog. Your dog! <laughs> and Famicom Detective Club Part 2, we are playing this in celebration of the full Famicom Detective Club series being released officially in the West for the first time by Nintendo on May 14th on Nintendo Switch. This is the Super Famicom remake of the Famicom original. Uh, this was fan translated some years ago, so this isn't an official release, uh, but it's a very fun game to play, and I want people to be able to be exposed to this and get excited for what Nintendo is doing. This is a very deep cut from Nintendo's history. So we just got through chapter nine. Please feel free to watch the previous episodes and we will move on now with chapter 10. We are at Ryoko's house. She has invited a friend of hers from high school uh, that used to know the girl who was killed at the beginning of the game. The girl in back. <laughs> this is the home of Ryoko Katsuragi, a former friend of Shinobu's. I'm sorry, Sayaka should have arrived by now, but please, make yourself at home. I think I sound more middle-aged than 30-ish. <laughs> yes. Let's ask about... Why? Principal Yorabe had good direction, and was always sympathetic with the students' concerns. I don't know what else to tell you. I myself don't remember much about him anymore. When Sayaka gets here, she should be able to fill in the gaps. He's always been an upstanding man. I've told you all I know. Let's check the matches. <laughs> Show her the matches. Mm. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just go through the pictures again. Uh... I just heard about it on the news. It surprised me when I saw it. I never imagined Goro would still be living here in town. Huh? Why not? I always assumed he was living it up in the big city. Or some sort of yacht. I always assumed. Yep. Mm. Nothing else about that. I hope Sayaka gets here soon. I wish I could help you more. There's a nice livelihood to it. There's a telephone in the corner of the room. Take the phone. Can I use your phone? It won't be long distance. This uh, is the bar phone number. I think that was 007-1234. Yeah. Oh, darn it. I goofed it. Can you go back with the cancel button, maybe? No. Maybe we should che check the, uh... We just looked at it, I'm just an idiot. Yeah, right. okay, it's busy. So I don't think that's relevant. Not yet, yet, anyway. This house is in the neighboring town as well. We must be just up the road from the Simbora. I wonder what they'd say about the murder. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe no. now we call them? to go to the Sambora. Yeah. Okay. So maybe just go back to the uh, lines of questionings. <clears throat> See if we get anything. He's a wonderful man. I hope you've had the chance to see him in action. Perhaps we have. Everyone at the school admires him. I remember one time, I sprained my ankle. 
He personally escorted me to the hospital in his car. I wish you would know about the car. Everybody then. was talking about it. That car. Asked about the car. I remember it well. It was a very fancy big black car. The kind every schoolgirl wants to be seen in. Mm. A limo, I guess. <laughs> so it's true, Principal Yurabi owned a large black car 15 years ago. Told you all I know, say I can knew the Uchida boy much better than I did. Okay. Oh. Maybe that's her. And it was someone else. It was. Same answer. Yeah. Maybe we can try dialing the number again. <laughs> She's like, who are you calling? Why do you keep calling these people? <laughs> Excuse me, but I have to go check on something. I won't be long. Oh, please be back soon. Hey, now. <laughs> Howdy. What, what was the hey now for? It's the same bartender. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, he's working another shift. Hey, you're that kid from before, right? Mm. I can't believe he's dead. Couldn't tell you much about that. No idea. I wonder what that fool got himself into this time. Tucked into the corner of the bar. What am I missing? Maybe we can check the TV? Oh, yeah. Since we seem to mention it. No. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Correct. I can't tell if she's with him or not. Seems like a regular. Oh, 
it's all over the TV. I wonder what that fool got himself into this time. Well, they're both staring at us now, so uh, it's got their attention. <laughs> Hazarding me too much can be hazardous to your health, kid. something. They're all just looking. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like the TV really has anything there. there now. Oh no. I think there's some dialogue option in this one. Her. Could you let me know where you're going to be so that I can contact you when Sayako arrives? Ah. ah. Okay. Um, maybe we can show her the matches. Oh yeah. I've got to go to a bar called the Symbora. If you need to get a hold of me, you can call the number on this pack of matches. What do you think her immediate thought uh, is? She's like, geez, kids are getting in young. All right. <laughs> so we went to the bar and then came back and was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's a linear game. I just think it's funny. It, I'm just imagining like somebody it's, actually It's the ahead. story that's non-linear. Yeah. <laughs> about or... wonder what that fool that fool maybe now we can just check the TV let's run through all questions yeah. ah. why yes Suddenly stood up, exclaiming, "Heh, heh, heh! It all comes back to me. Always, I always win. Heh, 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 heh!" Huh? He ran out the door, shouting this again and again. It must have been just after 9 p.m., I'd say. Fortunately, I can't see the TV from here, so I couldn't tell you what he'd seen. Yeah, I. That would have been an old broadcast at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. You know, maybe it's on repeat or something. I don't know. From then on, he came here all the time in high spirits, throwing all kinds of money around. Excuse me. It's for you. Hello. Hello, this is Ryoko. Say, I could just call to let me know her train's here. I'm heading out now to pick her up. I'm on my way. Excuse me. Pleasure's mine. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be back with Sayaka in just a minute. Now we can snoop around. The room has a nice livelihood. There's a large TV. Maybe there's an old broadcast. <laughs> what could girl have seen on the TV there? was going on ten days ago. There's a 
large TV here. Hey, it's 9 p.m., just about the same time Goro was watching TV that night. Let's speak to the TV. <clears throat> I wonder what's on. Okay, the game's just about over. Hmm, it's the news. Oh, you see they have a little, uh, a little plug in there, a little Easter egg. N64. Police are investigating the Goro murder. So it's her murder. Detective, I'd like to introduce Sayaka Ishibashi. Nice to meet you. I assume Ryu has told you a little bit about me. <laughs> oh no, she has a different voice. Mm -hmm. It's a shame, all of the... No, 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 no. You need to be an armor. on this one. <laughs> it's a shame these things still happen in this day and age. She looks a little more American than a lot of the other people we've met. Yeah. A little bit yeah. more European, Western. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, no. Mm. How is uh, I <laughs> How is close with the real government show the world since June of July? No, I still don't like that. <laughs> you just gotta commit to something. I can't say I like the guy much, but to be murdered like that. It's a shame these things still happen in this day and age. Up until Mr. Uchida committed suicide, we used to go to school with his son. Our nickname for him was Big T. Huh? Big T? His first name? Yeah, we used to call Mr. Uchida's son Big T. His full name was Tatsuya Uchida Uchida. Tsuya Uchida, could this be the TU I've been looking for? I'll always remember what, ki what a kind and gentle heart he had. He always seemed bright and cheerful for me, as long as I knew him. He spent through a lot, no doubt. First hearing about the murder of his friend, then with his father committing suicide. Ryoko and I always aspired to be like the principal. I hope you're able to find and to make some sense of all this. It's a shame. Oh, yeah, I'm here to go. Ever since Shinobu started high school, we noticed she started to change, but none of us ever thought she would end up like she did. No one could have ever expected what happened. I couldn't believe it at the time. Back when it happened, I think Big T took the news first of all. They'd supposedly been close friends ever since they were young. I think Shinobu might have been interested in him. Mm. He seemed to be stricken with grief after his father's death and moved away not long after. I never saw him again. That's all I know about him. I heard about Yoko's death ten days ago. It was on the news at night. There's our key right there. One of the people they interviewed was Principal Robbie. He seemed so sad. Wait a minute. That's exactly when Goro was watching the TV at the Sambora. Sayaka, I finished putting you- Oh, Say Sayaka, I finished putting your luggage away. I'll show you your room now. Excuse me for just a second. 
So, the Uchida boy's first name was Tetsuya. Could this be the tea you I'm looking for? It's definitely a long shot. And for Goro, he could have been watching the interview with Yurabe when he had his outburst at the Sambora. Wait a second. Could the principal have sold his house in order to pay off Goro? the TV again? Oh. Huh? I seem to be talking in the other room. I'm sorry, Sayaka was just showing me her old junior high yearbook. Ah. A yearbook? Tetsuya's picture should be in there. Could I have a look at it, please? Of course. That's why I brought it. Big T should be in this class photo. That's Big T in the second row there. Oh, that was a good guess. Did we not actually get him yet? Which vicinity was it in? Second row? Yeah, so... Is you've it? checked, like, every other one, I think. That's him, Tatsuya Uchida. Why in the world do these girls know him as Tatsuya Uchida? That's Mr. Hibino! Oh! So it was Mr. Hibino. He seemed too suspicious to me. The next day, Al goes to talk to Mr. Hibino in the principal's office. Rot raw raggy. So, I take it you've discovered the truth. Yep. It is you. Uh, uh. <laughs> Just randomly asking about the principal. Yes, I was the son of Tehiru Kiku Uchiha. I'm a detective. Huh? Uh. <laughs> myself that. Not after my father was the main suspect to the murder case. Then, how they found him like that. Hmm. Because of Mr. Kaneda, my father, if only those no good Kanedas never existed. others to be the same. But then, Mr. Kaneda, he used him. 
Because of Mr. Kaneda, my father lost everything. It was too much for him, so he took his own life. My father was a good man. He wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone kill a man. Not even those low-life Kanadas. I was lost without my father until the principal Rabada came along. He looked after me. Principal Rabada was friends with my father back in their childhood. He stepped in after we lost him. Ooh, we! The brothers? Who? Robbie and Hubino. No, he's he's t he's telling us that Principal Yorabe acted like a father for him. Oh, I didn't read that. Mm -hmm. Acting like a father would for a son. He was only the only one ever there for me. I mean, Yorabe looks like he's got to be at least twenty years older. Right. Why does it say we though? His family. I mean, maybe he has a sister or something. His his mother. I couldn't have gotten this career, gotten this career without his help. I owe it all to him. The principal is a great man. Yes, you've said that a few times before. After she met Goro, Shinobu changed completely. During her last few days, the shinobu I knew was already long gone. I heard he was murdered. Canadas. Grace to the school and to this town. Hmm. Bino's hatred of the Canadas is certainly understandable, considering all that's happened to him and his family. I'd love to hear his alibi for the day Goro was murdered, though. He, no one ever tells us their alibis. Mm -hmm. uh, I realize the way the situation looks, Detective. To make matters worse, I don't really have any alibi. However, I don't care. They got what they deserved. Uh -huh. Probably one of those at best, like, I was by myself at my home. <sighs> what are you trying to say? On the night of his father's death, Goro arrived just after the crime took place. Apparently he saw who the murderer was. I have reason to believe Goro was murdered because he tried to blackmail this man, who I believe is none other than... Principal Yurabe. Ah! Surely you're not saying Principal Urabe? Well, let me tell you something. You may question me and even doubt me if you choose to. However, I won't tolerate you insulting the principal like that. Not now, not ever! Uh-oh. Hmm. Did you just leave? Yeah. So, Mr. Hibino is the son of the late Terohiko Uchida. If that's the case, Hibino's hatred of the Kanadas is certainly understandable, considering all that's happened to him and his family, yes. Taking away the possibility of Yurabe, my next best lead is now Mr. Hibino. You know, the initials on the pen. Mm -hmm. But there's so much that points to the principal, and Hibino wouldn't be so stupid as to murder Goro without an alibi, would he? Chapter 11 Insanity Ooh. All 
All right. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us for Chapter 10 of Famicom Detective Club Part 2. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for following along. Yeah, and like and, and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Please check out the previous episodes. Get yourself caught up. And we'll be back very soon. See ya. Probably isn't very much of this much longer. <laughs> it does feel like we're getting near the end. See you around. Thank you.